course, round two. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Warden cancelled Demon Hunter. All right, so Lawlight, he is uh, having second thoughts here. Or maybe he's just used to spamming the Warden key. But, you know, only against human. Against the other races, it's not really an option. Against Undead, it was for a long time. But it seems like that doesn't work anymore. Well, actually, Remind was able to take one map off of 120 not too long ago with the Warden on Turtle Rock. The only map he was able to take off him across like nine maps or something. And yeah, Cheshi gets pretty frustrated. That's why a lot of people can relate to him, <laughs> including myself. Um, playing against cheesy base lame kind of economy harass style. Warden is of course the perfect hero for this. Demon Hunter on the other hand, not so much. Under Twisted Meadows though is one map where um, bear drops into the back here, into the economy, can be a thing. DK saving a skill point. If he can get the Null Overseer with it, that will be worth it. Worth it. Ghoul is trying to buy enough time. Oh, it's gonna be close. The Demon Hunter. I don't think... I think it's a big... Oh, shit. DK is around the corner! Coil reaches! Gets the last hit. I think that was a big mistake. Why does he click on the Ghoul? That is so not worth it. And he gets that one as well! Oh, disaster for Lawliot! And he dispels onto one skeleton. Dude, is this like... 400 ping or what is happening here and only now he burns 42 mana three coils have been used despite mana burned first Seriously, this was really bad by lolliot. I Don't want to be overly critical, but I don't think I'm being overly critical I think my judgment is right that it was really bad this one ghoul, though, might be the trade. Nice block from the archer. That, on the other hand, was well done. And the demon hunter will be able to get it. No aura here to save that ghoul, to give him the movement speed. And the warglades... Well, pull it up. Warglaves of Azanoth find the first kill. Is this gonna be level 2 for the DK? Yes, it is. Only having to take out the little gnolls here. Tier 2 tech ahead for the undead. Quite a bit, actually. More than usual. <laughs> exactly. Techie isn't so great. Are you kidding me? That's right. Coming across the map now with six ghouls. Going for more. Going for the graveyard as well. Skeleton scouting seems to be on point. Giving a little bit more experience to this demon hunter. He now needs two ghoul kills for his level up. He has the boots of speed as well. And he won't even need that much because he's gonna get this null brute. Of course, keeping the Demon Hunter from level 2, F, yeah, from level 2 is the dream, but keeping him from level 3 is good enough. Oh, trying to go for the surround. Close, but no cigar. Jay, he does not forget about the ziggurat, so he will be able to get the second hero upon reaching tier 2. Here's the Hunter's Hall. Yeah, milliseconds late, but not really. Oh, hold that thought. We have two archers. One of them might be falling here, but so will the ghoul most likely. Oh, there's a coil. Where are the mana burns, man? Lolliot, like seriously. Nice block from the ghoul. Gets that kill as well. Lolliot being really not too impressive right now. Starts the camp with the Ancient of War before his heroes, hero and units are there? What is happening? By the way, who did he lose to before? Oh, sorry, in the middle of the map we have the Naga, we have the surround possibly coming... Oh, he gets it! He gets it! He opens it! He gets it again! Has to be the TP right away, still level 1 only! And this camp is not being taken. Oh, this is looking so bad for Lolliot. What is he doing? I don't know if it's the ping or what, but this is looking very bad at the moment. He lost to Happy 2-0, by the way, in round 2. I was just looking that up. Oh! <laughs> What's the rock golem doing here? He was on a journey. But now he's going back home. The demon, if he gets it surrounded here, he doesn't have a TP anymore. It's so close and he gets it. Oh my goodness. 
Raw Riot, what is going on? Breath of Fire will deal significant damage, but the ghoul won't even fall. The Berserker can't find the kill. Now he has more slow. He might be able to get this panda as well. I think actually these are too many archers and stuff to get us a round kill, but he gets one more archer. He's gonna trade this for a ghoul. Oh, that's worth it. Well, well worth it. If he gets the Berserker especially, that would be a fantastic pickoff for him. The Naga here isn't really taking much damage because there's no demon to be slicing her up. He's losing the Shadow Priest as well. Lolite is getting destroyed. He is getting destroyed. All that Chechi lost so far was two ghouls. And in return he got a TP, he got a Demon Hunter, he got two archers. Or one. I think two. And the Shadow Priest. Lolite is so far behind. Demon Hunter finally back. Tier 3 on the undead side. Two thirds done. We don't even have dryads yet. Oh boy, oh boy. This is the worst that I've seen Law Light play, I think, ever. And I'm sorry, but seriously. It is, of course, uh, intercontinental, so it might be, it might have a lot to do with the ping. But not just the micro, also the decisions I find to be very questionable. Naga is higher level than the Demon Hunter. At least she was for a little while. Thinking about stealing the item? Ah, can't get it though. One of mana stealing, not what he wants. Tier 3 done. Lich is coming. Are under These ghouls have been forgotten. That's a pretty big mistake. Now he realizes it. That's gonna mean that Destroyer is very late. As we can see. Still not happening. Still a lot of lumber missing. So that macro mistake actually cuts into his timing. If he had shown up, like about here, with Lich and Destroyers and stuff, he could have contained the Night Elf so hard. <clears throat> but now he has to wait a little bit longer, probably. Uh, sorry, I missed what he got there, but he sold it right away, so obviously not good. Well, I need to get something big here. Belt, not bad. Stuff that keeps your heroes alive, always good for Night Elves against Undead. But now Chechi going towards the middle, very close to level 3 on his DK. And he's getting Frenzy, but no Destroyer. Ooh, does he really want to all-in commit here? I don't like this choice by him, to be honest. I'm pretty damn sure he doesn't have Destroyer upgrade. That upgrade takes too long. I don't think it's possible that he got it. Oh. And this is the... WFZ-esque style push. Losing the first bear, no staff here to save him. Level 3 for the DK now, he doesn't have the mana for another coil. But the Demon Hunter can be rejuved up and of course there's no destroyers here. So Reju is so strong, level 3 now for the panda. And I really don't think Chechi can break this. I don't, he can't kill the base, or the army in the base. And Lolite has recovered pretty nicely, man. Maybe Chehi should have tried to contest this camp even without his tier 3 being online. We have a shade now. We have destroyer form upgrade coming finally. But yeah, Lolite is back in this, man. It is not over. Not at all. Attack. Something that 120, for example, likes to do is harass with second and first hero when the opponent has dryads. And in the meantime, the ghouls and the fiends can creep by themselves. So you are not in danger of losing them. And usually you don't lose your heroes. Especially if you get boots of speed. Which he didn't do. But he could have gotten. Reveal at the laboratory will get rid of the shade. Zombie mask, certainly very nice for the panda. And Chehi stealing the invul here. A 
Late game boneyard transition is coming. It is pretty damn late though. And at this stage it seems to me like he can't really win a fight anymore without worms. Maybe he can look for some snipes though with Colnova and abuse the aura to run away. Of course though there are dryads against this. Wisp coming from the main this might be an expansion attempt. Certainly seems like it. Katga's gem of health, by the way, in the, on the Lich now. Increasing his HP pool by quite a bit. And we might have an engagement here. Or are we... Alright, the two armies see each other now. There's no Demon Hunter here at the moment. Of course, Chechi doesn't know this. And yeah, Chechi can't win a fight here. The Dryads are going to catch up with the Fiends. And yeah, there's no... Not really saving her. Oh, there might be with enough coins. Going for the demon first. He's pretty tanky though with a belt. And he does drive the knight of away. No expansion yet. The wisp is just parked here for funsies. Oh, expansion is here. Okay. A town is under siege. Heal scroll as well. And already we have Chechi going into upkeep. With the first worm on its way. Reveal once again, getting rid of the shade. Pendant of mana. Oh boy. This panda is damn scary. So much damage. Coming out of the Pandaren. Lich though finding good items as well, getting close to level 3. He's gonna have 3 3 3 here for the fight that is gonna take place, and we're gonna have mass expansions! Moon Meadows, once again, gonna be having a lot of trees of life. Bone Chimes, also pretty nice. Of course, if Chechi does it right, these bears will rarely get to attack. Finding another good item, level 3 for his Lich as well. And now it's go time. I don't think he saw this expansion yet, but it's not something that you should be surprised about. I think he saw that one. It was night time, so the shade may have been out of range. Uh, close. 65 supply for Chechi. Is he waiting for the next worm? Looks like it. This Lich though. Holy Jesus. Very stacked. And I'll light it. Only 60 supply. Uh, Where did he get here? Boots of speed. Okay. Oh, and now Chechi thinks this is the expo, but in fact there's two. And the shade? Okay, the shade is checking for it though. Didn't tag the army. He did scout this and he's like, okay. Jay, he doesn't really need that much lumber income, so he can just use a couple of ghouls to keep this entangled goldmine from coming up, potentially. And kill this base with his army. That is at least uh, something he could do. Oh, A-bomb being intercepted. That's a big pickoff though. And the dryads are gonna find even more. Or not. But the A-bomb will be dying for free, getting the panda closer to level 5. This tree, of course, is gonna be gone. No damage upgrades, by the way, on the undead side. Which would, of course, add quite a bit. Here comes the TP, and there will have to be a counter TP. Dryads are being slowed. Oh, and they're in a bad spot. They're in a really bad spot. How many can he slow with his main? Two have died. Three will most certainly die. One has been saved with a staff, but this one should also be dying. So four Dryads. That is pretty significant losses. Now the Panda taking quite a bit of damage himself. Has to use the TP as well. That was costly for Lolite. Down to 59 supply again. Jackie at 63. With quite a bit of gold to spend. He has gotten rid of a lot of uh, Dryads, so maybe he will want to go for even more Worms. I don't know. He bought a heal scroll, probably, yes. Only has one, so it seems like he used one before at some point. 
All right, Expo is running. Lolai has to defend this. Even in terms of supply, pretty much. And here we go. Chechi wants to fight next to the trees, going for the DH immediately. Invul has to be used already. Not many bears at all. Quite a few dryads and also berserkers here on the battlefield. Demon Hunter doesn't have the invul anymore. Might be getting focused. Nova for Lightning Coil. Where's the staff? Loliot, where is your staff, man? Big mistake, massive mistake. Chechi should now be going for the panda, but he's not realizing it. How much? He has so much man on his heroes. This panda would be an easy kill. What is he doing? Saving the destroyers, uh, the frost rooms, though. But the panda, he has nothing to survive. Now he's being focused. Was this too late? Can this panda somehow be saved? No, he can't. Colnova finishes the job. And should be honestly finishing the game. These fiends are dying, but what does it matter? Both heroes are gone. Four, four, four heroes on the undead side. They are spiraling totally out of control. And the mass expansion style doesn't seem to be working too well. 57 for Chechi, 42 for Lolai with so many resources. So many resources. But is that enough? He needs to get his heroes back. Demon Hunter from the altar, Panda from the tavern. There is Moon Juice here to get them up into fighting shape. The Undead heroes are low on mana. DK, not a single coil at the moment. The Lich has about two Novas. Detonating on the DK here, so he can't heal up the frost worms. He's buying time with these dryads, but it's time expensively bought, losing three dryads for only a few seconds. New expansion coming up here. But I don't know that that's gonna be enough. As the expansion falls, level 5 on the Naga. For some reason, <laughs> she is level 5 first. And there's the panda buyback. Still can't believe he didn't staff the Demon Hunter. That probably, honestly, comes back to ping issues. So, I don't know. Maybe he really had like a two second spike or something there. Hard to tell. And these undead heroes aren't far away from 555. And yeah, you thought the nuke was scary before. That's where it gets out of control. And these Night Elf heroes are not close to level 6. Which is where they need to be if they want to go up against 555. A player's forces are under attack. Three frost worms now in the air, but they're pretty hurt. Of course, hard to heal them up. Panda hit level 5 here. Shade is gathering information here. Mains are close to expiring, by the way. Yeah, and Lolite, he has to kind of cheese this game to victory. Maybe get a telly staff, cancel the expansions all the time, expand yourself, bleed Chechi dry, because at the moment he's so far behind, man. Chechi being lazy, not splitting off the Naga here, now doing it. Yeah, 20 supply behind, and here a level disadvantage. Pennant of energy as well. Yes, thank you. And now we can expand here. Mains are gonna be gone soon. And seems like he's gonna be expanding... nowhere. Hmm. I certainly think he should be expanding, because that's the one way he loses, kind of. Tome of Experience and Belt. And Lich almost gets level 5 from this. Yeah, this, this Undead army is so scary, man. Ooh, that's what nightmares are made of. He has two invuls as well on his second and third hero. Great healing also, so hero focus is not really a possibility for the Night Elf. That's of course the big weakness of this Night Elf army with Panda, Demon Hunter, Dryads and Bears. Your hero kill potential is horrendous. And Chechi really isn't expanding. I feel like that's a risk he doesn't have to take. If he just expands... Okay, there we go. Never mind. Finally does it. One heal scroll, two heal scrolls on his side. Oh. 
Uh, how much damage is the level 3 nuke? So it's 300 from Coil. It's 250 from each of the other spells. So it's uh, 800. Of course, you have to divide that uh, with the hero reduction. So it's 800. No, it's it's uh, it's 80 times 7. 560 damage. So the burst just from the spells is 560 damage. That's about about half HP for both of these. Demon Hunter getting in the first burn for free. I'm pretty sure he was scared. He's like, oh, please don't focus me. Panda moving forward. Very brave. First drunk and ace, Breath of Fire, and then he's probably gonna have to be staffed. Saving the mana for now. Coil Nova, where's the fog? Lightning! Maybe she was out of range. I don't know. Panda gets out, though. But now the demon in trouble. No invuls on the Night Elf side. Oh, man! He dodges the coil, maybe. He gets home to safety anyways. More bears coming in. There is some moon juice. A lot of moon juice actually still left. Another heal scroll. So I guess Lolita is doing pretty well considering what he has to work with. A lot of dryads. 1 0 upgrades. So these bears are going to be gone within seconds. Three frost worms, as well as nuke, if it flies onto the bears, they are going to be poof, disappearing. Question is, can he get rid of the fiends quickly enough so that the dryads after that aren't too easy of a kill? He has the panda level 5, so the fiends might be falling quickly. But there is three heal scrolls as well to counteract this. So obviously it's still looking great for Cheshire. Demon Hunter, at this stage in the game he should really be level 5. The Ancient of Lore won't survive long. He doesn't want to take the open fight yet. He would love to be next to trees or like this crevasse to save his frost worms above. Jackie's playing it really safe. I think he could easily like walk in and win, but I mean he's not forced to do anything yet because so far the Nile isn't mining any gold. But Lolite knows what's coming. The attempt at the Entangled Gold Mine cancel here, so he's positioning himself. And the other army keeps getting bigger and bigger. Still no damage upgrades. Now the first one is coming. Alright, we have 80 supply undead with 5 5 5 heroes. If Lolayet will have to change his pants afterwards because they got wet, I won't blame him. Because this is scary. Yeah, and this is a good fight position now. He's next to the trees, so he can micro his frost rooms properly. And Panda's walking in, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Where's the focus gonna fly? Kind of everywhere. Panda eating a lot of it. First bear dies within seconds, and the next few are being shift queued by the destroyers, and only one single one is left standing. Next Breath of Fire Dragon Ace coming in, but we have more heal scrolls where the first one came from. Going for the Demon Hunter now, and he will not be falling. Nice usage of the staff to keep him alive, but all the micro in the world at this stage in the game honestly won't save you. So far, only a single unit has died, only that single statue. Everything else is still alive for the undead and kind of healthy. And this has to be it. Dryads dying like flies. Panda level 5 was not enough damage to win this fight. And that is of course no surprise. And yeah, it's over. Maybe Lola thinking about the next game. What map? Well, they did the vetoes before, I think, so... <clears throat> Coil Nova, Flock Lightning, go. At least he got one more kill, one more fiend here, but now the panda. 
being slowed. Oh, look. But this could be a triple kill on the fiends. Nope. Coil. Bye bye. GG. Demon Hunter died as well. And it's over. 1 0 for Chechi. And. Alright, how much experience did Chechi get? What do you guys think? I would say. 7,000. Oh shit, I'm way off. Way off. Oh, I thought it was more. He even killed the Demon Hunter at the end there. Okay. So, that was game number one. I think we're gonna stay in here. It was a pretty entertaining game. And it is decision time. Focus is leading versus Remind, by the way, at the moment. And Lucifer is leading 1-0. And those guys have been playing for like an hour. And I read earlier in chat that it was uh, Turtle Rock. So maybe it was the Beastmaster bullshit again from Sock. And apparently he lost. Alright, and in the lower bracket. So, uh, Joker is out against Orc Worker. And yeah, that's that seems to be it. No other updates. Yeah. Okay. Map number two is going to be Last Refuge. Certainly not a bad undead map. <clears throat> Can a light bounce back from this? I think it was pretty impressive how well he got back into the late game, considering how horrible his early game was. Maybe that was also Chechi giving him a bit too much space. But now, map number two, the deck has been reshuffled and we will be starting shortly. The chat balance discussion is always so, so cute. Oh, we have a new subscriber! Uh, subbing 15 minutes ago. Sorry, I missed it during the game. But of course, uh, don't always read chat during the game. Lecrest Fallen subbing for the first time. You are now subscriber number 259, I think. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope uh, we're going to have a great tournament here tonight. And that you enjoy that. I wonder if they have... Um, if they have the old... Rust Brain Cups in the Liquipedia. Oh, they do! Cool. So we're gonna take a look at that later. To see who the winners were. Oh, they don't have it all on record, apparently. <clears throat> Why is there a cap of face behind? Well, um, at one point, uh... I wanted to hang that there and wanted to see how long it takes until someone notices. 
but the camera was different then, so it was the camera was further over there, so uh, my head was blocking the Kappa face. So you could only see it very rarely. And nobody noticed for like two weeks. I was amazed how nobody did. And well, um, I just I just kept it there. I don't know. Should I remove it? Is it bothering you? I think I'm gonna keep it. I also have Kappa Ross somewhere. But uh, yeah, at the moment it's just good old Josh Kappa. And here we go. Map number two. And Jackie's leading. Lawlight, honestly, a uh, bit of a disappointing performance on map number one. Was it ping? Was it something else? I'm not too sure. This time here, map number two, last refuge. He's gonna try to change this. So, on Twisted, the Demon Hunter was level 1 until tier 2, which is of course horrible. On LR, level 2, uh, I mean it's not for free, like on Amazonia, but it's not too hard. So you creep that one, and then you creep this one, and then you're level 3 usually, uh, level 2 I mean. Maybe you even creep the Murlocs, but usually you'll take this one. And then probably it's gonna be Chechi's turn to try to keep the Demon Hunter from level 3, as that is always so vital. Also one interesting thing to take away from map number 2, Law Light was under so much pressure on Twisted. He only had a level 1 Demon and he still decided to go for the Panda. Who is of course amazing late game, but the Naga would have helped him out much more in that um, early mid game stage. So um, keeping that in mind, Maybe Lolaid really, really prefers the panda nowadays in the matchup. Something we should try to keep an eye out for. A player's forces are under attack. And there we go. Usually in this matchup nowadays, um, Undeads creep to level 2, or at least close to level 2, and then harass. In the past, we saw a lot of aggression with the DK running over right away, and the ghouls following shortly. That seems to have fallen out of favor a bit, because the level 2 on the DK is of course such a big boost. And he's moving out really early. Forces As you can see here. He didn't scout with the ghouls, so now he's on 22 supply. Ghouls are leaving the base already and he can tech. So this is super fast. This is about as fast as it gets. Because again, no scouting done by acolytes or ghouls. And he still keeps the demon hunter from level 2. Heading in towards the main and Loliot still not teching. He's gonna have the resources in a second. Right now. Oh, but now he has to micro. Ooh, this is gonna be a late tech, man. Check this out. Archer in trouble. When does he think about it? When does he notice? Block from the skeleton secures the kill on the archer. And, oh my god. He's, okay, he started teching, finally. But that was very late. He could have done that way sooner. Oh, again, skeleton block coming out. Well done by Chechi. Dota skills once again. Waking up the creeps here. He is putting a lot of damage on the DK. We've got the two archer kills and that's where the AD experience came from. A player's forces are under attack. Trying to go for more archers. Almost a surround. That was very close. This ghoul might be falling now. But so might the archer. <laughs> Looking a little clumsy right now. And this, this is, of course, also really hard to do on bad ping. Getting surrounds or evading surrounds. This archer will... 
still be falling, I think. This Moonball still has juice in it, so the Archer actually survives. Not quite. Could have saved it, actually, with a Moonwell. But still, he traded three Archers for one Ghoul. That is obviously totally worth it. And now Tier 2 is going to be soon done. Graveyard is late, but he wants to get Tier 3 and Second Hero before that anyways. Probably. Seeing the boots here from the Night Elf's shop. Of course, the Demon Hunter can just get them here. But with him having lost two archers, he may want to save those resources for more archers. Actually, again he walks into the creeps with the Ancient of War. For the second time in a row. Dude. Is this intentional? It can't be intentional, right? Or is it, maybe? Maybe it is. But look at this. He barely did any damage. Nah, this can't be intentional. It's, uh... Just silly. Here comes Creepjack. Naga second with the boots. Oh man. The Berserker is probably gonna be target number one. And the Golem is still alive. He didn't kill him first. He killed the priest first. He's getting some skeletons. Okay, he gets the Golem though. Row the Magi. Good for the second hero. Oh man. Has to TP out. Is he gonna lose the Archer? Yes, he is. Went towards the creeps though. So no experience for the Naga and DK. But still losing the TP. So dangerous heading into the later stages. But he's very close to level 3. And with a second hero he should be able to creep his merchant. And that will be his level 3. He goes for the Naga now. Okay. Interesting. But at the moment he has boots on neither Naga nor Demon Hunter. And I always feel they only excel really once they get this item. And already he has lost so much. Lost the Ancient of War. Lost three archers. Lost the TP. And maybe even some uh, some wisps I missed. Level 2 now for the DK replenishment. Very nice. Might use it right away. Yes, he will. Good scouting by the skeleton. Getting information. And will be getting the deny as well. Not quite. And the tier 3. One third done. Oh, very fast for Lawliot. Wow. You can really see where he's cutting the corners this game. No boots, no staff, no shop. Very quick tier 3 instead. No fourth Moonwell. Interesting choice. Of course, if he finds himself in a surround on the demon, the game might be over. <laughs> but he's taking that chance. Slaughterhouse soon to be done. Oh, Ogre Magi exposed. Easy kill for the demon and the important, important level 3. Is he gonna find a good item to go with it? Not really. And the end snare, unfortunate. But it's gonna be ending soon, so... Uh, he's still gonna lose it. Okay, still gonna lose it. And the Naga with the boots and the Aura is too fast and he surrounds him! Oh no, this is what I was saying! But who's gonna die first? I think it's gonna be the demon, or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Yes, it is! The DK involved being bought, involved being used as well. If he wants to go for the Naga, that seems to me like it's very greedy. And no, he settles for the archer. Oh, man. But the level 3 demon dies. <sighs> I have quoted Artosis before, and I will do it again. When you cut corners, at times you end up with a perfect uh, circle. But other times, it's just gonna be a crappy looking square. Shit, I, I messed up that quote a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, but Lola, definitely taking chances this game. And good awareness by Chechi, seeing that surround, executing it well. And yeah, as I said, that was the danger. Greater healing. That's a good one. Check, he's still being aggressive, man. Jesus. And he's gonna almost get the last hit. <laughs> the ball's on him right now. Again, the Naga having the experience lead, by the way. A player's forces are under attack. 
Alright, main base check. Lich is gonna be there. Frenzy is gonna be there. Seems like again he's delaying his uh, destroyer upgrade. Master bear training soon to be done. More skeletons scouting. And here we have double level 3. I know Chechi um, once liked the cold arrow on level 3. So cold arrow level 2 when Naga level 3. Nowadays, we most of the time see a Forked Lightning level 2. Let's see. Maybe later we're gonna get to check that out. Oh, the Magi. Fantastic, of course. Alright, but Lolite, he gets to creep some more. He had basically no map control, but fortunately for him, there's two good big camps next to his main that he can take without much danger. He's doing the happy play, going for invis, maybe? Oh no, no he's not. Only the invul being stolen, that's a big deal. A player's forces are under attack. So now no invuls for Lolite, oh, and he's again taking a risk, man. He's gonna walk up here, if he gets creepjacked there, man. Where is he gonna walk up? No, he's not, okay. He pulls him out, so not that risky. Double invul on the undead side now. Try it. Okay, does not die to creeps. Well done! Claws plus 12, not bad. Most of the time the night elves are busy, the heroes are busy running away anyway, so might not be the most effective. But if the demon gets to stand and fight with those claws, it is effective. Maybe even giving it to the Naga might be a good idea. Because she is usually less busy running around. But again, Chechi is uh, getting a big lead in the early game and then taking his foot off the pedal. And again waiting for his Boneyard transition. Of course it's dangerous uh, running into like a few Master Bears, double level 3 heroes, so I can definitely see him playing this slower this game. I think on Twisted Meadows he had a good opportunity to keep up the pressure. Here on LR though, I think it would have been very dangerous. And now both red camps go to the Night Elf. Oh, and this Demon Hunter, man. If he gets to stand and fight, he's going to be dealing so much damage. Going for the Naga first. She does have the TP, though, so she shouldn't be falling. Demon at uh, DK also in trouble. Using the healing. Why did he lose the Naga? No! And she had the TP! Oh my god, Lolliot! The mistakes this game, but there's no invul on his Naga. Also, he could have transferred the invul there. Chechi. <sighs> I thought Lolite had lost this game with his hero loss, and now the Lich in Wall at the very last second. What is this game? Invul has to be used on the DK as well. There it is! But now the Demon Hunter in trouble. Demon Hunter is gonna be falling with the last few shots. But the Lich is dying as well. Jesus Christ, only one hero gets away from the slaughter alive, and it's the DK. Jesus, holy moly. Lich back now. There is no coil though, and the Demon Hunter is being bought back as well! No, he might lose the DK! The Dryad for the slow is not able to reach! Oh. Jesus! My heart! Oh, my heart of hearts. Sorry, I think I was yelling a little bit too much there. Boy oh boy! Frostworm now finally coming. The Naga is not being resummoned here. Probably wants to eat a ghoul before that, so he's not in upkeep. Level 3 on the Lich. Oh, and here we go again. DK is still very low, but so is the Demon! Invul has to be popped sooner rather than later. 7 seconds. There's gonna be no more Nova. Forty-eight supply, by the way, against fifty-two. Reveal coming in, but this time we have no shade. I th well, actually, we do have one. It's over here. Sorry. Here's the action. Getting one more dryad, and that was the level up for the DK. Level two. Aura is actually very beneficial. I think it gets um, underrated a lot. Doubles the movement speed bonus and the HP regen. Of course, the HP regen doesn't really matter, but the movement speed is amazing. 
And Jackie going in again. He has two coils if he doesn't get burned. No Nova at the moment, and he gets burned. Oh, the demon. He coiled the destroyer. I think that was a misclick, but now there is a staff anyways on the Naga, and this is not a fight that is good for the Czech player. He has to run away. This fiend will definitely be falling. No Dark Ritual to deny the experience. What's he doing? Why is he still in this fight? Jackie, what in the hell are you doing? Man, a burn almost getting the kill, but the demon hunter being staffed very last second. This game is too close, man. This game is too close in all regards. Naga, finally gonna be back. That has been delayed by quite a bit. He could eat the fiend. Dark ritual, bro. Dark ritual. Doesn't do it. Frostworm using one breath here to slow down the demon. That's pretty cool. Oh, but he is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh-oh. He didn't buy a TP. He definitely should have bought a TP before. Because now Demon Hunter almost getting rid of the DK and the Lich now in trouble. Can't be healed, can't be safe and will be falling. And I think that is it. Yes, it is. GG from Chechi. And that is the Equalizer with Lolliot taking Last Refuge. <sighs> what a game. S timings were so weird by Chechi. Like, if you give the knight of all that space, shouldn't you at least wait for your frost room to finally come out to look for that engagement? Hmm. I mean, it started well. He got the Naga with the TP. But that Demon Hunter... Well, he died, but he got rebought. Crazy game. Chechi is saying in chat right now, I wish I understood this game a bit, so I don't play like this. XD. <laughs> and Ancient Isles is gonna be the last map. I would say it's even pretty under favored. So hard for a Night Elf to get level 3 without getting punished. I scratched myself when I was um, when I was climbing. That's uh, what that is. Not a big deal. Just a little scratch. Oh, Neo is here. <clears throat> hey, what's up, ugly? Oh, I can't hear you. Let's go Discord. We got better quality. Yo, Neo, come Discord. Hey, ya! Uh, hey, hey, big that uh, move your ass into <laughs> W3 Arena. They're waiting on you right now. Oh, damn, I got a patch first. Why don't you have, like, the, the patch program? I have a patch program. Yeah, so it takes, like, two seconds. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Go, go, go. It's a pretty epic series right now between Lolite and Chechi. Uh, seems to be damaged. Wait a second. Uh, am I at 1.26? Okay, I'm coming, I think. Yeah, I had a good rest. So I'm, I'm fully energized again. Very good. So how's the cup so far? It's um, pretty fun. We bounced around a few games in the early rounds, and I kind of regretted watching Abrams versus Chimiko. That was a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> but yeah, pretty good. Happy is uh, holding up the European flag so far in the winner's final. And he's going up against Lucifer, so we have... Um, I guess I can show that here for, in a, for a moment. Um, wait... There it is. So in the uh, upper bracket semis, we have Focus, Remind, Lucifer, and Happy. So three Koreans versus one European. But at the moment, we're in the lower bracket here with Chechi and Law Lyat. And yeah, the other players. Yeah, Chechi uh, winning a map against Focus. I didn't expect that. 
Yeah, I didn't see that. I was uh, surprised as well. What's the game name? Can't you see in the friends list? Uh... I whispered it to you. Oh, no. I wasn't in the channel, but okay, I get it. Here I am! Okay, so guys, um, please tell us how the audio is. I think Neo is a little too quiet. I think I can boost myself a bit. That would be good if you did that. Okay, better now? I think it should be, yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, do we, we want to do cam or, is to, or do you want to do no cam? Uh, I just got out of bed, so... Yeah, I thought so. Better not. Okay. <clears throat> we have a new donation, by the way. Mikey PX, once again. Dude, you're crazy. He says, can you give us your thoughts on armor and effective HP? <laughs> <laughs> cool story, Bob. Nope, I have no more interest of sharing my opinion on the matter. Did, uh... Someone correct you on that or what? No, I am correct, but still, uh, people got re very upset when we talked about that the last two times, so ah, we're not okay. going to be doing that again. All right. So, um, oh, we're going in game. Lolai versus Chechi. This is lower bracket of Rust Brain Cup five. Lower bracket round two, to be exact, and we are at a one-worn score line. So this is going to be the decider. Ancient Isles, Neo, to determine who's better. Not only a better player, but a better person. Whoever loses here is gonna be the disgrace of the community forever and ever, all days to come. Isn't Chechi in that position already? I think people still like him. Yeah, of course. He's a he's a funny and jolly guy, except when he's uh, complaining about everything. But that's just how he is. Yeah, he was. A well, little, he did a little bit of baby rage against Focus when he got uh, Zeppelin oh. dropped. He got th Zeppelin dropped three times, though, so I could understand. <laughs> well, I, I I saw the end of that game uh, before I went to sleep, so that was pretty cool. It is a keeper of the grove first. What the fuck? Wow! If Star Shaped is watching right now, he is laughing <laughs> and happy. <laughs> it's gonna be keeper Hans. Man, was it Chechi who got destroyed by that when Sonic played it on TM, or who was that? Was it Chechi? I don't remember. What's up with Lol no, Riot, I, man? He's, I don't think so. He Wasn't played it Van? Uh, ah, yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, you're right. But this is so cheesy, man. This, I don't know, is it too late for Lol Riot or something? Might be the case. I mean, it's pretty late in Korea. Also, map number one, there were some pretty glaring errors. And map number two, there were some pretty big mistakes as well. So, the light today, not too amazing. And now going for the keeper first hunts. Yeah, this is really weird. Um, I don't really know what he wants to accomplish with it. I mean, yeah, Entangled versus Ghouls is nice and all. And of course, applying pressure to the Death Knight is very easy with that keeper. But I don't know, man. He's so squishy. Definitely a potential for a lot of kills on that hero. I mean, the keeper is there to win the early game and the mid game and get an economy advantage. After that, he's going to be shit, of course, so you have to win the game early with it. It can work, though. If you have a shit hero but you have 30 more supply, it still works. Going for the acolytes now, and he's going to be losing one. Gets almost level 2, though, in return. Oh, and he went for the aura first again. Check he didn't scout. So now he doesn't have coil and these ghouls, ooh boy. And of course, Lolite has to know where all the ghouls are. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what you do in the early game. Uh, he did, did take a, lo a bit of damage, but I think it's okay. He has two more tangles. And tangles, I'm sorry. And he's checking already, <laughs> despite uh, going for Hunter's Hall. So the tech is earlier. He still has to produce one more acolyte and it needs a little bit of gold. But I think it's all right. Tech timing is okay. By the way, I learned that uh, at the moment, Loliad is not 100% committed to Warcraft. He has something else to do in his life. But that will change next year because the 
A1 clan will have a team house in Seoul. Ooh, cool. So he will uh, not exactly live there, but he lives in Seoul anyway, so he will have a <laughs> house to practice with, uh, with Focus, Sark, Chimiko, and so in, I guess. It's called Seoul, by the way, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, these ghouls, man, they are in trouble. There's definitely gonna be two kills here, maybe even more. Trying to block the keeper, kind of. Uh, is he gonna be able to do it? We saw amazing blocks coming out of Chehi before in this series. Nighttime is no issue for the keeper because apparently he does have the thingy magic. And yes. Chehi doesn't understand. Does he have Ultra Vision already? <laughs> Must have it, right? Yeah, I think I saw it. I don't have Dream Dota on, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's Mr. Czech Medic. How we know him. Um, so you said what he's gonna be playing with Soen, with Focus, and who else? Um Chimiko and Sock, I guess. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. But none of the big ones. Oh, one more ghoul will be found, one more ghoul will be killed. Or will he? And Tangle comes out, that's the last one though. Does he want to invest the coil? No! Going for the deny instead <clears throat> with Frostmourne. But still the Keeper got a lot of experience, man. Almost level 2. Huntresses will be giving him that level 2 now, I believe. And is Chehi going for Garrix, which is usually the counter, or does he stubbornly stay on Fiends at the moment? Looks like Fiends, because we only have one Crypt. Yeah, uh, Chechi is very stubborn with this, but I think uh, there's still it's okay to play ghouls. I mean, and 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 fiends. Fiends are good against everything, and Garks can be countered with hippogriffs fairly easy, I'd say. But of course, it's kind of a commitment from from Lolliot. But I think it's okay that way. Both work, kind of. Um, oh. Garks are pretty cool on this map because DK. of the dragon, but entangle. All right, Knight of Surrounds, how good are they? He has one more Entangle right now. Huntress says, this should be enough for a Surround. He's, he, he gets it, okay. That's the TP now. So yeah, first Fiends are coming. Lich is the second hero of choice. And now it's time for the Panda to creep up, up for the Light. Tier 3 is started for him as well, double engine of lore. And uh, yeah, usually on Amazonia we see a lot very early on. And afterwards... Uh, the fights begin when the first worm is out, I guess. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna end the Skype call. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, did you end it already? Nice! And he's not expanding with this, man. He's playing Keeper Hunts on one base. I mean, he has map control at the moment, so he's getting a lot more experience, but I don't think that's enough when you have a Keeper first. I guess you're gonna force your opponent into more destroyers, because you really wanna have it against uh, the Entangle, and also against the Reju. And of course, destroyers, apart from the Dispel, aren't really too effective of units, considering they are 5 supply cost. But still, man, the point remains, it is only a damn Keeper. Yeah, with Colnova coming up, uh, gonna be hard for him, especially third year or the. At the moment, as I mentioned, lots of creeping going on, and the light doesn't really accomplish too much. Panda just level two, Keeper not level three, and yeah, there's no pickups or something. He's not aggressive with this. He doesn't harass the economy at all. Oh, but if Jesse gets found here, that could be quite a few kills. Oh, and he starts the camp. Everything's gonna be poisoned. Oh, he has a TP, okay. We will have to use the TP. There's no way he's getting out of this otherwise. Yeah. Is he gonna get the Overseer? He gets the last hit and gets the item and saves the Fiend. So that was worth it, especially considering it's a pendant of energy, which of course is amazing. Yeah, it is uh, the second town portal in a few minutes, though, so it's not... That perfect outcome for for Chehi, obviously, and there's the expansion. So yeah, feels like night elves need this at the moment against Undead. In the midst of tier two or at the beginning of tier three, they always try 
to expand, but most of the time that doesn't really work, and I think Jackie saved a few ghouls. Yeah, that looks good, so I think he has the firepower to knock it down. And the issue here is uh, that is not the usual knight of army that is so strong in protecting the expansion. It's not like he has three dryads, two archers, and three bears. He has three huntresses, and they are bad. They are horrible at this stage in the game. They should be ignored, and then they don't really do much of anything. Panda is not level 3. Keeper is level 3, but as long as there is a destroyer, he's gonna be fairly useless. He has a uh, force of nature, by the way. Yeah. Well, there's basically no melee unit apart from yeah. the DK and later an abomination or two. So Thorns Aura don't really do anything. Doesn't really do anything. The expansion has not yet been scouted, though. But it has to be expected. With a keeper, you have, have, have to expect the expansion. Skeleton, though, is only scouting the main at the moment. Panda, hitting level 3 for him will be important, because the timing that is coming in uh, with the ghouls, of course, is going to be very susceptible to AoE damage. But Chechi, hey, he hasn't scouted the expo, he's not going for it, he keeps on creeping. Yeah. Uh, That's one of the things that keeps uh, 1 to 0 apart from the rest of the undeads in the world. You would be scouting. Ah, okay, there's a skeleton or a ghoul coming. But it is too late to cancel it. So this will go through. The question is can he kick it before uh, it paid for itself and got him some revenue? I don't think so, but we'll see about that. Two bears, three dryads. 50 food mm -hmm. for both. He's catching up with the fiends here. I think he has to go for the fight, yeah. And there we go. Two destroyers in the air. That should be enough for Perma to spell. What's he going for first? The bears are going to be the target. Is there a staff on the knight side? No, there isn't. And that's level 3 for the DK with full mana. Using the heal scroll right away. That one fiend should be saved with the coil. And there it is coming in. But the damage is so high from the breath, man. The one scroll doesn't seem to be enough to counteract all of the AoE damage that is coming in. He's losing the next fiend, and the third one will be saved, just barely in time. The huntresses are falling as well. Can he get one more? Is there a Nova? There should be, and he actually quite misses it, barely in time. And Chechi is at 40 supply, 43 against 45, but there will be more and more bears. No, there will not. There will actually be dryads. Okay. Um, I guess against the destroyers that makes sense, but how is he going to deal with the fiends with only dryads? That is my question. Well, let's see. He's going to have to ex and defend expansion. Yeah. Usually you have a demon hunter dealing with this or uh, whatever, but with the keeper, you lack the damage of the right clicks. Flitch is close to level 3. Jackie has a heal scroll and the statue on the ground. So this is potentially a good push, but maybe not enough at the moment. There's no Naga. He builds another fiend, so he's at uh, 46. Every nation would be good at this point, I guess. Breaking up, keep with the wisps, and now it's running. The giant strength for the lich, which is not that great. Pop of venom on the panda, by the way, so he can attack air as well, and the second claw. Wow, the keeper. Okay, man. now it's. Okay, but here we come. Chechi wants to kill the Tree of Life. There's only one staff on the Knight of side. If the staff gets used on the bear, I could definitely see Chechi going for the Keeper right away, if he realizes this. The keeper way far up in front, man. Here's the first breath, getting rid of two of the ghouls. And the expansion keeps on running. Not perfectly yet, but... And Chechi has to win this game here. He has to win with the next attack. He is under pressure. Yeah, there's no change like to go for worms or anything. He will finish this game with fiends and destroyers and an air bomb. Yeah. He has it now. I think he's waiting for the next fiend and statue from the main and then he's going to attack. That's going to be his power spike. Yeah. <clears throat> Panda has an invul. Keeper has nothing. Staff is on cooldown. There's second staff. No, that's not. So the keeper is really vulnerable. Tangle on the abomination, so he's kind of out of position. Breath of Fire into the Fiend. Miss is coming out there, of course. Destroyer getting coiled and microed above the trees, which is nice. Now the Fiends have to take uh, out all the Giants here. 
I don't know, man. No one to the bears. He moves the destroyers back into the giants, getting some free shots. Next breath of fire. The DK is super duper low. He needs to use the heal scroll. Does so. Levels up. Maybe death pack would be a smart choice. Here we go. But a surround on the DK kills the try to escape there and switches the focus onto the panda, who is level four. Focusing that guy is not that smart because, yep, he has that invul. Now switches the focus towards the keeper of the grove, but he escapes as well. Bear down, and it looks good for Chekhi, kind of, I think. Next entangle on the fiend. Oh, another uh, keeper! Go, finally, the of the keeper of the grove and Frostborn hungers kills the first hero. Now it's looking perfect for the little undead from the Czech Republic. The light has to run away. That exposes his expansion. What can he do now? He has the supply lead, but a lot of that is still in the lores. And look at the mana on the DK. This pendant of energy, man, amazing for him. Panda coming in again, spread damage, can't coil everything, oh the lich, could this be the vulnerability now, has Cheshi just, what is he doing, heal scroll, there should be another coil in a millisecond and there it is, just barely in time and now the panda in trouble as well, he's being slow, he's being focused but he does get away, more and more drives are streaming in from the main, of course Lolite has a big amount of income from these two bases, he's losing units left, right and center, but he's buying time and he is up by 10 supply, we were expecting this game to be over after the Keeper kill, but it's not done yet. Not at all. Okay, can he tear down this Tree of Life now? I don't think he has too much firepower here. The Dryads are coming in again. Lich is kind of on a silver platter in here. He has another statue because the uh, last one fell to the Breath of Fire. And slowly but steady, he's knocking it down. Not too much. 500 HP and he gives it up! Why is he not repairing? He's waiting for the KOTG to come back, but that... No additional income anymore. Mystery is gone. He gives it up. Yep. Okay. <laughs> the light is not Rick Astley, that's confirmed. And the panda... Keeps on creeping. I mean, there are a few spots left here on the map, so you can get to uh, close to five. But imagine him getting creep jacked right now. Okay, he gets the TP, so he doesn't risk it all. KOTG is back with two bears in the base. Apart from that, only dryads. Do we have techs? No, zero zero here for Czechy. It's zero zero as well. Two statues on the ground now, keeping himself in 50 food while Lalite is in upkeep and losing money, like, constantly. I could it's easily the, detonate the mask for the pan now, which is nice. But he's not getting level 5, and that is pretty important for Chechi. With a little green cam next to his main, that should be enough, I think. Oh, but he's on the chase. Chechi moving south, but this is only Dryads. You can't really kill them. They're trying to protect the panda, and I think they should be successful in doing so. Is he going to be forced to use the TP? No, he's not. The Lich can't reach for the Nova. So the Keeper gets away. Eh, the panda gets away safely. And of course, the panda is the carry here. The Keeper is just useless at this stage in the game, as long as there are destroyers. He has Thorns Aura now on level 1. So... The infamous 2-1-1 build on the Keeper of the Grove. And yeah, you're right, level 5 on the Panda. It is good damage, but will this be a saving grace? I don't think so. It's one heal scroll on the DK, he can get a lot more. And there we have a Sacrificial Pit very late in this game. Still 2,000 gold in the main gold mines. Nature's Blessing already available for all Light, so he can walk over with his tree to, the, uh, to his natural expansion rather quick. And he's going for more army, right now. Hmm. He's losing so much to upkeep. But Jesse can't really go into this, uh, into Frostworms, he's too low on lumber. If he wants to get uh, Frostworms, he has to go get more ghouls. And just going into upkeep for ghouls, that always feels weird. But then again, I don't think he needs Frostworms at all. It's only two bears. I think wagons would be pretty cool. Well, against yeah. a level 5 panda, maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, but... More abominations uh, yeah. is also a good thing. Maybe disease cloud upgrade even. The longer the game Whoa. goes, the better it gets. That damage though from the panda, man. Jesus. Really hard. How much? Now, there's a lot of coil stuff, but here comes another tangle. This abomination should be dead. Is there gonna be a dark ritual? Nope. 
by the fire, finishes off the A-bomb, the DK, here's the entangle, here's the heal scroll, where's the dispel from the destroyer, she doesn't use it, too late! Oh my god, Chechi, I can't believe it, even saving that bear with the staff, and this game was his! His for the take him, and his to throw away as well, apparently. Can he get the panda? Reju's coming in, where's the dispel? There's the dispel, but the lich doesn't have, he has the mana for the Nova easily, but he doesn't find it, losing everything, the last statue is down, the last fiend is gonna be down in a second. Oh my god, I can't believe it, and still the TP is gonna be there. The panda now has it in his inventory, and he uses it right here, before getting the A-bomb. Oh my god. What the fuck did just happen? <laughs> he he brings the fight to the undead base, this is where you want to fight on Chucky's uh, side. And he just feeds him the Death Knight, man. And he had How? Death Pact. He had Death Pact, man. He had Death Pact, he had Dispel. He wasn't too far away from the shop. Oh my god. Game of Throws. This might, of course, be ping. Um, possible. It certainly looked very, very bad. Oh boy. Yeah, it kind of looked like he uh, wasn't even in the game for that second. Expansion for Lolliot is up again. I think he didn't uh, expect an outcome that great from this push, from this distraction push. But two zappers. That oh, there's nature's blessing. Is it still enough? Nope. And the oh, shade sees bad. it now and sees damn nature's blessing. Yeah. Without nature's blessing, it is enough. But he needs one more. But he doesn't have. The light oh, is going the for altar. the Altar of Darkness. DK, man, it's gonna be so close, there's no repair. The Altar of Darkness <sighs> is dead, and so remains the DK. He must be so annoyed right now. Perfect timing by the light is going for the Crypt. Without Fiends, how are you supposed to kill the Dryads? Breath I'm... of Fire at this point is just ridiculous against Ziggurats. I'm looking forward to the chat that's gonna be coming here before the GG. <laughs> Panda, bam! These ziggurats all close to death. Lich is five. Can that make a difference? As the caster question, the answer is of course no. Another five on the keeper as well. Oh, and I want to. But... Breath, triple kill on the ziggurats, please. Do it. Do it. Boom! There we go. Quad kill. And this is over. Does the keeper have a staff? Yes, he does. Doesn't matter. Lolite could lose every single unit here, he still wins. Yeah, that's not even a lie. <sighs> what a game. Main gold mines are down. Did no, he didn't play? say anything! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, that's the biggest disappointment of this game. No BM chat at the end. Yeah, right. I think he's on quite good terms with Lolliot, right? That should be the case. I yeah, I didn't think he was gonna flame him, just, you know, the game and imbalance yeah. and undead yeah. and night elf and stuff. Uh, okay, that means Lolliot wins it. Advancing to round number three in the lower bracket. And now we take.